Hello, Oscillator Sync here, and welcome back to another video in the series where I'm hoping to share with you some tips and tricks that I've discovered while building patches for the wonderful Behringer DeepMind. So today's tip concerns Portamento. Portamento is that wonderful slurring that we can introduce in our patches, which is almost synonymous with kind of analog bass and lead sounds. Patches kind of sound wrong sometimes if you don't have Portamento on them. That's certainly the case with mono sounds, but Portamento can be great on polyphonic sounds as well. So here I've got a little pad sound. Just a simple little pad sound there. And uh, I've turned up the Portamento on this patch. So if I play different chords, you can hear that there's some sliding. Now what's interesting here is even if I just keep playing the same chord over and over again, you'll hear that the portamento is kind of different each time. So barely anything there. Sort of this up and down slide there. Different emphasis there. And a different emphasis there. So the reason this is happening is that portamento in the polyphonic mode is based on a voice by voice basis. So whenever voice one gets called, it's going to slide from wherever voice one used to be. But of course, in polyphonic mode, we end up round robining to different voices. There we go, that one, that one had no portamento at all. That had a downwards portamento. That had a longer downs, downwards portamento. Sort of similar, no portamento at all. So what this means is that in polyphonic mode, using the default portamento modes, you don't get a consistent experience. Each time you play a chord or a line, the portamento is going to be slightly different and it makes for things getting quite sort of cluttered, I think. Ideally, what I would like is a situation where that slur at the start of the note is repeatable and reliable. A consistent portamento experience, if you like. And luckily, the DeepMind does provide this for us and you can find the functionality in the poly menu. So if we go into the poly menu here and we're looking for the screen that says pitch parameter. So we can see here that we have a section here called Porter Mode. At the moment, this is set to normal. And we've got a bunch of different settings in here. And I will do an entire separate video, I think, on Portamento to go through what some of these mean. But the ones that I'm interested in in particular are these ones that start fixed, fixed plus two, fixed minus two, and so on. So what these fixed modes mean is that the slur is always going to be the same uh, length and coming from the same place. So for example, fixed plus 12 means that that slur is always going to start 12 semitones or an octave higher than the note that you play. So if I play the C, you can hear that it's slurring down. If I hit it again, it's slurring down from the same place. And again, so if I play a chord, we get that slur and if I play the chord again, we get that same behavior. And we've got a couple of different um, modes here. So fixed plus 12 means it starts an octave higher. I really like the fixed uh, minus ones, which means that they start lower. So fixed minus 12 means 12 semitones lower or an octave lower. I think this sounds so cool on pad sounds. And we can go up to uh, 24, so that's 24 or two octaves higher. And then we've got the two octaves below slur up with fixed minus 24, which sounds really cool. We can make that even slower. <laughs> love it, love it. Every single time we've got this wonderful, consistent uh, slur, which makes the sound very, very playable. Anyway, guys, I hope that was a useful little tip for you. If you enjoyed the video and you found the tip useful, make sure you do give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos in this series on the DeepMind and on synthesis in general. If you've got any subjects that you want to see covered in this series, then you can just get in touch. You can leave me a comment below this video or you can find me on Twitter and Facebook 
and Instagram. I'm Oscillator Sync on all of those platforms. Just drop me a message. Let me know what you want to see in this uh, series and I'll see what I can do about it. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Take care.